Hey, and welcome back to another time sticking YouTube video. My name's Jake, number one cat dad, and today I'm going to be talking about thermoelectric movements. So, stick with us through our intro, and we're going to be having a look at two big companies that covered this type of watch. Now, no one has to be the human torch to generate a decent amount of body heat. Trying to capitalize on this biological energy source, watchmakers Seiko and Citizen released watches that boasted human heat-powered movements back in the late 1990s. That's right, instead of solar power or battery power, these massive watch companies experimented with thermoelectric power. Not to be confused with thermocompensated quartz, something we've covered here before, these quartz watches use temperature differences between the wearer's wrist and the outside world to generate power. It's sort of amazing that this idea was incorporated into Citizen's EcoDrive line and released by Seiko, since there are such varied climates in different parts of the world and they have global distribution. Tech like this requires specific conditions to run continuously. So, to continue, we'll look at those conditions as well as other general features on these body heat centric timekeepers. The first of these thermocentric timekeepers was actually Seiko's Thermic in 1998. The release was limited to just 500 pieces, a move that was honestly, in retrospect, pretty wise. It was a novelty line that mostly caught the attention of collectors. Their rarity today still has dedicated Seiko fans buzzing about their construction. Many owners continue to marvel and boast regarding the technology in online forums. Seiko's Thermic 6C12 movement was a pretty killer release at a time when solar powered watches were becoming well established in the market. Citizen, being Seiko's main competitor in that arena, responded quite quickly to the release. Just one year after Seiko announced its Thermic line in 1998, Citizen came out with their Thermo watch line, or at least announced it. The watch itself didn't get showcased at Basel World and then released commercially until 2001. Their first thermo movement was dubbed the Caliber F910 Thermoelectric Power Generation Quartz, a mouthful. The EcoDrive Thermo was a useful shorthand, and the initial release from Citizen was pretty warm. However, because of the way the tech works, it fell out of favor compared to other EcoDrive watch lines. Because the watch needed a warmer temperature than the wearer's wrist on top of the case, it wasn't as adaptable as other Citizen Eco movements. After the F910, there were models like the CTY66-0342, which tried different design work on the case and band. In the end, Citizen opted out of manufacturing these watches, but like Seiko's Thermic, the Thermo from Citizen still has a cult following. The construction inside of the case on the Citizen Thermo and the Seiko Thermic is something that's pretty unique. Both Seiko and Citizen's watches employ what's basically a thermocouple in the movement. Thermocouples conduct electricity that's generated by the feedback between disparate temperatures. Basically, the spread between hot and cold electrifies the atoms and can be conducted with certain chemicals. Among these chemicals is bismuth, an element that's also found in stuff like Pepto-Bismol, thus bismol. Citizen's Thermo uses a BITE, or bismuth telluride thermogenerator plate to activate the process. When the temperature above the wearer's wrist is cooler than their body temperature, the watch charges better. When the temperatures are similar, the watch doesn't charge as well. Charges would often run low on these watches because of the latter. For those who are seeking out something a little bit more unique, these watches are actually still a bit of a hot ticket item. The tech is very unique, even though it wasn't practical for mass production. They're worth hunting down if you're a watch collector. They're a hot item, as I mentioned, that's still fairly inexpensive to pick up, though they cost thousands of dollars in their day. So turn up the heat on the search, but not too high. Your thermo will start to lose its charge. Do you or anybody else you know have a thermoelectric wristwatch from either Seiko or Citizen? Or maybe something improvised? Let us know in the comments below. We're always warm to the idea of hearing about your watches. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.